What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video for Reboot Rallo. Right now, I'm going to read an article by Luis Joshua Gutierrez, which was published a couple of days ago, Thursday morning, 9.30 a.m., and it's Fortnite's Chapter 5, Season 4, Medallions Explained. And uh, some people may feel that this is common knowledge, that everybody already knows this stuff, but the truth is, it isn't common knowledge. Some people actually don't, doesn't know where all the medallions are and what do you got to do to get them and what do they do for you once you get them. Uh, some people don't pay attention to this stuff, dude. There are four levels of gamers out there, man. There's the casual and there's the extreme casual. There's the sweat and there's the super sweat. I would think um, uh, extreme sweat, a sweat, and maybe even a, a casual may know about the medallions. But an extreme casual, which is somebody who just plays the game 20, 30, like they may play two or three matches a day. That's it. They go to work and they come home. They don't think about this game anymore. And like they don't watch any YouTube videos. They don't get into the background story of it all. They don't know all the lore. Those are extreme casuals and they do exist, guys. They don't, everybody doesn't know the stuff you know about the game. So this video is for the people who don't know how to find the medallions, how do you get the medallions, and what they do for you once you uh, have them. Now, with the new season of Fortnite comes a new wave of medallions players can use. The only way to obtain these is by killing named bosses who spawn in specific areas across the map. This guide will detail everything you need to know about the medallions added in Chapter 5, Season 4. I'm going to skip to some of the more juicier uh, stuff that we really need to know, which is basically, let's get to the... Here's the three medallions here that are added this season. Doomsbot Medallion, uh, Mysterio's Medallion, and Emma Frost Medallion. Uh... Doombots is a siphon, Mysterio's is a stealth, it, ma it basically makes you invisible, and Emma Frost is a reveal medallion, it um, um, pings or it marks any uh, uh, opponents you have in the area. Now, first they're going to uh, describe the Doombot medallion, that's what we're on first. This is perhaps one of the better medallions you should try to get. After you kill someone with this medallion equipped, you steal their health immediately, which is great whenever you're fighting a lot of people at once. The Dooms uh, Doombot Siphon Medallion will also spawn in Castle Doom, and as the as the name suggests, the only way to get it is by killing Doombot in the throne room. Okay, then you got Mysterio's Stealth Medallion. This is one I told you it turns you invisible. Uh, before I go down, let me go back up to this picture. Where was it? Where was? It? Oh, it was this one right here. I'm looking at them, and that's the same combination I like to use. I like that shoulder torrent. I like the uh, War Machine Gauntlet. I like the gloves and I like the backpack so I can fly. I get those three things. I get that whole entire combination. My last two slots are going to be for heels. I'm going to keep meds and I'll be cool. Like all I need is this right here. I don't need an AR. I don't need a shotgun. Just let me float above people and shoot down at them. This is all I need. Now next we were talking about Mysterio's Stealth Medallion. This medallion allows its users to turn invisible whenever they crouch. This is ideal for close quarter fights or whenever you're in the final circles. Yeah, actually someone used that against me in the end game. Oh yeah. I was running right past this dude and didn't even pay attention. Didn't even notice. To get Mysterio's stealth medallion, stealth medallion, you'll need to kill Mysterio. He will always spawn in the center of Doom's dot. I hope I said that right. And then you got Emma Frost Reveal Medallion. This medallion is great for any situation because it randomly marks enemies in your area. The only downside is that you can't control when it happens, but other than that, it's helpful. If you want to get Emma Frost reveal medallion, you need to kill her. Don't worry because she spawns at the rap and can be found in the main prison area sitting on a chair. It's up to you which medallion you think would be the most helpful for you to play with Fortnite. With the caveat that any one of them will make it easier for others to spot you. Good luck. I like to carry medallions until we get to endgame. Seriously, when there's only like two or three people left on the map, I drop my medallions. People can people know where you are, basically, when you're carrying the medallions. We know that. I don't like to carry it during endgame. But if you have the uh, reveal medallion, Emma Frost re reveal medallion, it can, be a, it can be a great tool endgame because you can automatically spot your enemies. But at the same time, they know where you are. So to me, it's kind of like a wash. i just rather not carry it. Let me know what you guys think of the medallions this season. Which ones do you like to carry the most? Have you? Has anybody had all three yet? If so, leave a comment down below. I haven't had all three yet. But until the next time I have something for you, it's been me, your boy, Reboot Rallo, and I am out. Thank you. Come again.